of the move and you can kind of see we made some progress um, it's still a big mess in here but I'll flip the camera around to show you what's going on uh, our landlord is mowing the grass right now but I don't know if you can hear her so I wanted to share with you guys some of the organization tips that I'm doing for the kitchen because it is a very small kitchen, but I think it would help other people who have a small kitchen feel like they can connect and maybe take some of the ideas that I have to help me organize kitchen. So let me flip the camera around so I can show you what I've got working on. One of the hacks that I just discovered, which I'm really excited to share with you guys, is... Oops, so I collect these jars, and you may say they look familiar. Well, that's because they're actually pickle jars. So I like to collect jars after eating the products that are out of them, like tomato sauce, pickles, things like that. Um, and this is a little bit of my jar collection that you can see up there. I don't know um, if you can see them all, but... I love collecting the jars because you never know when you need to store something and they're just a really great way to recycle and reuse things. This jar is my favorite jar brand because this is actually sauce that you can get at Aldi's and these jars are so cool because look at that they have measurements on them and they're so fun like sometimes I'll make my own sauces sometimes I'll use these to measure out water and it's really really helpful also if you want to keep tabs on like how much water you're drinking every day one of these jars filled up with water you can kind of know where you're at on ounces of water drink look at this all right so hold on let me flip you guys around Really want to use this basket somehow in our kitchen because it's kind of got the vibes I'm going for. And as you can see, I have a lot of cooking utensils. And originally, I was like, I'll just put them all in this basket. They all kind of fell over and there was no like real rhyme or reason to it. So instead, what I did was I took my pickle jar, removed the lid. Oh, mm, it still smells like pickles. And then I put them kind of staggered inside of the basket. So, and then I placed my utensils inside. So here's the middle one. But really you could do this technique with any basket you have. I really like the way it looks. I feel like maybe I have too many utensils in this particular thing, like this one is for grilling. I don't normally use this on my pan, so this might be stored away. But the rest of this stuff I kind of use on a daily basis. So it's nice seeing it all in one spot in like an aesthetically pleasing way. You have really nice baskets that you absolutely love and they match your style. I highly suggest using them to contain items that you use quite often because then when you see them in a the basket, they kind of make you feel warm and fuzzy and want to cook. So something else that I'm trying out that I've seen a million times on Pinterest is taking old jars and storing items in them. So uh, I'm currently trying this out for the first time and so far I have my almonds in one jar that used to be a tomato sauce jar from Batol Batoli. And then I had just enough walnuts to store away in this garlic jar. For now, I'm not going to worry about it, but I know that the lids aren't very aesthetically pleasing, but what you could do is you could just take these outside, spray paint the top to any color that you want. Uh, I think I might do that in the future, but for the sake of just moving in and needing to find a way to store all my packaged items, I think this is a great start. The reason I kind of want to switch to jars is because these bags, once you have a lot of these bags, they take up so much space. Whereas if you can contain them into smaller containers such as jars, you're not only reusing and helping the planet a little bit at a time by keeping your jars from other products, but also it saves a lot of uh, shelf space for you. Plus, you know, I think it looks kind of cute. And that's always good plus. Let's shake that. Whoop! Made a mess. That's okay. 
the whole place is a mess right now, so. Then also, if there's any jars that you really like, if you think they look really pretty and kind of match your aesthetic, or there's a product or an ingredient that you really want to use a lot more, but you always forget to use it because it's hiding away in your cabinets or your pantry, you know, just make it look really pretty in a nice jar. Set it out on your, maybe a shelf or your countertop. So you can always see it and remind yourself, hmm, that's right, I really wanted to cook with that. Like for example, these mushrooms. I've had these for quite a while and I've only cooked with them a couple of times, but I'd like to keep cooking with them more often. So very earthy looking, very fun. So now you can kind of see like look how cute this looks all together, you know? And of course, the mismatching lids doesn't make it look all that nice. But, like I said, when you want to spend some time outside, want a fun, easy project, you can always spray paint the lids to match whatever color you want in your kitchen. So yeah, I hope that helps. I'm going to get back to work, and bye!